Hi, Hi Joanne. Hello. I can't see. <laughs> there's, a, I, there's a specific person here. Okay. So I recently learned that there are only two things that exist. <laughs> there are bananas, which are things that are bananas. And then there are bananos, which are things that are not bananas. <laughs> so we all had sex ed in fifth grade and only fifth grade. transition because I'm still talking about bananas. <laughs> 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 so I sex ed in, I'm assuming, fifth grade because that was my life experience. <laughs> and one day in class there was a day where we just asked questions to the teacher and uh, one kid asked, <laughs> I 
figured I should go back way early before he was able to do any, absolutely anything. I went back to the year 1900 to try and kill 11-year-old Hitler, and that didn't go work so well. Fun fact, Adolf Hitler was a very adorable child. <laughs> Barely there, mustache. <laughs> I knew I was not going to be turning on my chainsaw. <laughs> so I decided to go ten years ahead to 1910 and go kill Hitler as a young adult. So I go up, and this time I meant business. I went up to Hitler and said, Hitler, I'm from the future. If your crimes against humanity are too great, I have to kill you. Sorry. And then Hitler just looked at me with this look in his eyes. And he said, God damn it! I am so sick! This is my Hitler voice. <laughs> God damn it! I am so sick of all these time travelers coming back to the 20th century just to kill me. And then if I'm already dead when they get there, they go back use a paradox to bring me back to life just so that they can kill me. <laughs> Boy, did I feel like an ass. <laughs> I hadn't thought about Hitler's feelings at all. <laughs> so I said, I'm, I'm so sorry, Hitler. I, can we talk this over? And so what wound up happening is we talked and we realized that if there's so many people who go to all the trouble of getting a time machine to travel back and kill Hitler, there's a serious untapped market present in the early 20th century. So Hitler and I have replaced most of Germany of the 1920s and 30s with a grand new theme park called Hitlerland. It's got a lot of rides, a lot of fun attractions, but the main event is you've got Hitler himself from 9 to 5. He's in the stockades. <laughs> And you're free, you can pay $5 to kick him in the bun, $10 to just really beat him up. If you pay a lot of money, you can just chop his head off, and then we'll bring him back to life with time travel. It's a really great family-friendly event. <laughs> and so, you know, it's been a very lucrative uh, project for me. <laughs> I mean, feel free to come after the show. I've been keeping 40% of the profits. That's going mainly to my education, and of course, 60% of the profits are going to Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Bring the whole family, it's a great attraction. Come talk to me after the show. So, while we're on the topic of history, I want to do a little brief review. You know, people know about the Constitution, they usually know the first, second, 29th amendments. <laughs> but you know, not a lot of people know the Fourth Amendment, so it's a good time to review. <laughs> the Fourth Amendment to the Constitution. If you see a ghost, don't talk about it. <laughs> Just don't.
love how it bends. Okay. All right, just be careful what you think about. You want to think about good things, okay. Don't think about murder. Don't think about cancer. Don't think about the loss of a child. Don't think about the Disney Channel original movie Brink. I'm thinking about these things. This is not working. Okay, good things. Think about good things. You can think about them the rest of your life. Okay, sunshine, kittens, video games, masturbating, masturbation, cola, disinfectant, gravel, tepid water, Harry Truman, a gravel. Things. Um, I'm going to be stuck forever. Wait! Bananas. <laughs> Gesture you're making it. <laughs> <laughs>